everyone what's up this is elvin mark welcome to another urban sketching outing it's the month end when we are here at fusionopolis let's go up to meet the rest of the sketches and when i say up i mean up I'm using a super long panoramic today. 24 cm by 68 cm, yeah. And uh, Sangmi is really excited about it. <laughs> you can use it if you want to. Then I can do my video, I don't have to sketch. Okay, so <laughs> while everyone is registering, let's hop outside to see the surrounds of this industrial working area. Just about 200 meters away is the sand crawler. Can you see that? Yeah, so Star Wars fans, I know you'll probably get a kick seeing a building that looks like a sand crawler. So this is inside on the ground floor of the sand crawler. You know what? Lucasfilms used to be here, so there used to be this statue of Yoda right there. And now it's not because, yeah, Lucasfilms is not here anymore. This here. There's only two gates where you can do that. Yeah, and then okay. you go in. Cool. Only the last two gates close to level. All the way, right in the end. Okay, thank you. JTC was formerly known as Jurong Town Hall. It was established on 1st of June 1968 to oversee the development of Singapore's first industrial estate and launch the industrialization drive on the island state. JTC's master plan is to create clean, green and smart estates to attract Singapore's talent and communities. The agency also drives innovations in the building and infrastructure sector. Misty day here in Singapore. Oh, you're missing a window right there. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Look at that. Clever. You got a table. And you got a title for this or so. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna do a One North Panorama. everyone. I came here specifically to draw people and I've got tons in front of me yeah, including photographers and all that and all of them back there so here we go. Why did you decide to use a small format? I didn't bring my big 
<laughs> okay. Do you want I have extra? Lucky I have this. Okay. Okay. Why did you decide on a fine liner? Oh, I think this is the. I mean, I'm product design trained, so this is like the the most default, comfortable. right? Okay. Yeah. Also, because this one, when you go over with like Copic markers or ink, it doesn't smudge. So. Because you have background in drawing, mm. to do a panoramic scene as such, oh. like with so many little things happening, what's what's the most important thing? To be honest, the thing is one of my first times trying this, so usually I'm more used to like smaller mm. objects. But I think what helped was just to sketch the using a very thin outline first to just get the basic shapes and proportions. Yeah, yeah I think the main challenge is that with all the buildings have different perspectives, it's kind of hard to like, like get the vanishing line. Plus all at different vanishing points. Yeah. But yeah, so just slowly patience. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you, Kenna. Okay, no yeah, well done. Thanks. I just realized that you're using an oil medium holder to it's put water. I have this, but I put my oil stuff. Yeah. I don't like yeah. oil things because yeah. I feel like that would be a pain. Why did you choose this angle? Was there something that was calling out to you? I just wanted to draw the hospital and the roads looked cool. I had no thought processes in it. The road is interesting. It's a foreshortened view from where you are and then splits has this little teardrop opening in the middle yeah, which is quite cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's it like is. a weird little tree thing. Yeah. Well done. Good choices. Is yeah. it? Yeah, of Thank course. You. And, and you too? Is that is that why you chose this view? Um, no, there's just an empty spot. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say I that is either choose. that or an empty spot. This spot is empty. Let's sit here and draw. That's, that's how these sessions are. Also, just carefree and stress free. Is so, it? Okay. Yes. Hooray, yes. Well done. One and a half hour? Wow. Yes. Check us out. Shruti, you're done. Work in progress. Oh, wow. Look at that. Right there. Wow. Yeah, I can do it again. Thank you. How was it? How long did this one take? This one, I've been here since 9.30, okay. so, yep. But I got caught up talking to the very wonderful people over here. Oh, so. yes, yes, of course. Great company. Thank yes. you. Well done, well done, I well hope well to done. finish this $1 pen, $5 book. <laughs> yeah, ask me to spread the coffee on my drawing. Oh, okay. I saw her coffee, I said, just feel draw it on. Yeah. Okay. Good idea, man. The coffee really looks natural. Oh. This is Xiaohan, primary school kids. Poster oh, pin, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the yeah. ends are coming. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ends yeah. yeah. are uh, because there's sugar, right, in your coffee. Your paintings are literally yummy. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, how are we doing today? I love the soft look that you're giving to your watercolor pieces recently. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's good, it's good, yeah. I'm trying to use more water. That's it. Yeah. Actually, I struggle with that with sky. Too many with things, too many right? Things. Yeah, yeah. Really. But you learn how to simplify the forms. I try yeah, to. Yeah, keep it. Yeah. But I can still learn a lot. I think. <laughs> Good to see you here again. Yeah, thank you. 
That is really pretty. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Wow. What made you choose this location? Mm, oh, I like the the track and field, and I like the semicircle buildings there. But, like something different. Just, like, a lot of greenery here. Yes, and you the can sky. Get everything here. Yeah. Well controlled. Very Miyazaki-ish. small little corner getting this corner of the building yeah and it's only her here She's visiting from USK, Nevada. Yep, from Nevada, Las Vegas. <laughs> wow, Viva Las Vegas. Um, since you're visiting here, can you tell us a little bit more about Las Vegas? What do you guys sketch when you're there in Las Vegas? What are some of the landscapes? Well, I really like going on hikes and sketching personally. So I like doing a desert like mountainscapes and cactuses. Okay, okay so <laughs> it's good that you mentioned that because when I think Las Vegas, I think light. Do you guys ever go out and do nocturne sketches with the lights in the city? No, that's a good idea. And I How long did you take to work on it? Uh, it's usually like an hour, an hour per piece. Okay, so. and what sort of a background do you have in art? Because that, that's amazing. Oh, I actually worked in the games industry previously, actually. So and now I'm sort of moving in more of a finer direction. So. I hope you managed to capture the colors of Singapore while you're here. Yeah, I know. Thank Happy you so sketching. Much for me. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> nice meeting you. Mark. Wow, what a great turnout. Singapore's opening up. We're meeting so many new sketches from abroad and they're just visiting us. So exciting to meet and see different styles and variations. Before I leave, I'm going to show you this one special place. My animation school used to be here. So let's go down to the basement where my animation school used to be. This place has changed so much. I'm gonna see if I recognize where my school was. It's been 10 years. Okay, my school was here. This. So during the time when I was at school, the train station wasn't even up yet. So this is so convenient now for the people working in this building, all the surrounds. This is Elvin Mark from Fusionopolis. Take care, stay well, and drop by if you're in the area. Thank you also to JTC for letting us sketch up here. Until the next one, people, ciao ciao. <laughs>